real New Yorker. <laughs> We're moving at a mile a minute. We're going right into a high place set. So we got Venia up here, up against Ram. Ram, a player who's been making waves in Jersey lately with Snake. And this in itself is a very unique matchup. Yeah, it's not often that you actually see it, get to see this. I mean, because at the at the very, very top level, you know, you don't actually see Greninja being played as much as we all think he should because he's a, he, he's a really good character, <laughs> you know? It's really just Stroder and Leia who are doing much besides Venia. And that's an excruciatingly low amount of players. Yeah, but because of that, you never know. Ram might not even know the Greninja matchup. And here, I, 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 you know, New York does de definitely does not lack in that MU. As far as uh, on the other side of the fence goes, Snake itself is a matchup where, like, you can know the character's tools, but you do have to take a bit of time to figure out the player's play style first before you really get a hard counter on what they want to do. Ram opting for the ultra high recovery. He's going to manage it, too. And didn't take that much percentage, but a cute follow up putting down even more numbers. Yeah, I think he's taking this match a bit slow, you know? Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's been well, uh, you know, almost two minutes, and no one's died yet, you know? Uh, I think that both players are taking their time just learning each other's play styles, and Venya with a beautiful forward air. Can he capitalize on this? You don't really have to respect Snake when he, Snake, when he goes <laughs> that high. <laughs> Talking about disrespect, we just sticking people on the face. <laughs> if that worked, <laughs> imagine. <laughs> Hold on, it, it is currently on Ram. If he's paying attention to No, it's, right. it's on Venya. It just moved itself right back to Venya, but not for long. Sticky oh on him. That's God. the first kill. Two and a half minutes into the game. But at 166%, Benny is not going to struggle at all. And we're back to square one. <laughs> yeah, man. But listen, if we're going to be going tip for tat in that kind of a manner, Ram's one is going to be walking out on top. So Benny needs to figure out a way to smother that damage before it becomes too big of a problem. Yeah, man. I definitely want to see him go up and punish Snake's recovery when he recovers high. Because that's the thing that most Snake players tend to do. Did he just try and lock him with his own grenade? He definitely tried. <laughs> he gave the attempt. That was... No, only venue. Only, Bro, I respect only venue. it. No. I talk nonstop about how yeah. players need to learn how to play around projectiles and items of certain characters, and Snake is absolutely no exception. Like, Grenade has a respectable blast radius, and if you know how to abuse that with your own character's tools, you're locking down Snake, which is an impressive feat in its own right. No, yeah, for sure. And we see here that Ram is just trying to get the better of Venya, slowly just throwing grenades, and just chi uh, just chipping away at the damage, and so but he doesn't he doesn't seem to be he seems to be letting his grenades do all the work for him, you know, at, or up till he was supposed what? Let those long legs do the work, man. How he was like at ninety. Doesn't My matter. God, Snake's leg is at least one snake length long. <laughs> Just don't look at it too hard. Take my word for it. Oh, great substitution. Actually causing him to drop the Cypher out of fear. I mean, like I said, man, we're finding ourselves going tit for tat. The way this is going, Ram's taking game one. Curious to see what Venia does to sort of change things up. Because he's ke keeping the pressure on Ram, but he's also eating a good amount of damage for his efforts. Yeah, and you know what? When Snake trades, Snake players will always take a trade because, you know, they're already they're already used to getting blown up by their own bombs. They will take they will take you getting blown up with them any day of the week, man. It's part of the grand design, man. Like, Snake is heavy, and he doesn't take that much out of, like, the hits that he, he does take. Mm -hmm. So you know he's got a backup plan. And he's got fast enough options that, like, he can cause a reversal real quick. So once all that damage is built up, it makes a world of difference. Because it's just a little bit less effort the Snake needs to put into being able to hunt for their kill. Oh, yeah, for sure. You see here that Venya, Venya's actually dancing around Ram's shield, but Ram is actually just holding it. He's not even flinching. He's holding shield, waiting for Venya to, to commit to something. And he knows that if Venya tries to land on top of him with... <laughs> oh, that oh, was my cute. God. But if he tries to land on top oh. of him with anything, he's just going to up tilt. And at, at this percent, Venya knows that he's in super death percent. I'm pretty sure right now we're crunching into the down throw forward tilt ranges. But yeah, just like you said, Ram could just throw out that up tilt. Get a quick kill. But he's not rushing for it. And that's what I like to see. You notice a character. My god. going to just blow up. OK, yeah. All right, well, forward throw does that now. That's fair enough. That being said, I do like the fact that Ram was remaining patient when things were getting yeah. high intention. Because, right. like, you can't get antsy around Venia. It doesn't matter what the situation no, yeah. is. I don't think you can. I think that at a certain level of play, uh, you really can't get antsy at all. Because because when you do, you start making these these mistakes that you know you shouldn't be. And then you start you start uh, losing your own sense of play. You know, you, you start losing your own sense of style. 
And I did like the fact that Ram kept his cool under under that situation. Unfortunately, couldn't seal off the kill. Venya, do, Venya getting that early forward throw, actually. He was like at 130-ish. Yeah, he was yeah. in the 120, 130 range. Yeah. But, I mean, this it's, this is, you know, arguably Snake's best stage. So, no Snake dislikes the stage. So, there, look at, yeah, 28% already. Ram's going to be able to cover a ton of space pretty easily here on Battlefield. Although, he needs to be able to land and establish that real estate for himself first if he wants to get anything done. Any stage with platforms, you know Venny is going to be contesting that because he doesn't want you having safe landing space. He doesn't want you having options. He doesn't want you thinking you could win. Venya is not a safe space. Venya is not a safe space. I repeat. <laughs> Use of the cipher actually hitting him. That's one thing to note that when you are when you are trying to edge guard snake, snake cipher can come up the ledge and hit you. And that's a, just a little cheeky way of like get off. Great parry to down tilt. Oh, oh, that was cute. Yeah, he tried, but he actually stuck. What? Yeah, Why man. did that happen? I told you, you gotta watch out for Ram. Kids that's on the rise super for a sneaky, reason. dude. All right, then you're missing that substitute. Uh, the shadow sneak. Okay. Great bait, making him air dodge with the forward. Nice. Rark that was a, uh, no, back air, my bad. That would have been a really tight input window, too, for that. Yeah, no, but he knows him, man. I mean, Venge's been playing this character a whole, like, for, what, five Forever. years now? <laughs> Since Greninja was a thing. Basically. Great dancing around shield as he forces Ram to, to stay in his shield. Using these platforms actually against him, and that's the thing. When you use when you use a platform against a snake player, that's when the that's when they're in the hot water because that's when they want to establish their their dominance, but they can't. <laughs> and you know, one thing I just want to make a note as far as the stage is concerned, Ram's actually playing Battlefield beautifully because like he's well aware that Venny is looking to catch landings because Snake has to come down eventually. Mm. But Ram is almost playing on like a third tier of Battlefield. He's playing in the space far above the platforms. So he's forcing Venia to commit to a movement option to try and trail him, which is then going to give Ram some sort of way out of the madness. Yeah, no, actually, that's a, that's a very good point, but Venia seems to be doing a great job of actually closing in that space. You know, the, oh, oh, I actually like that idea to use the counter, but unfortunately mistiming that. Those Nikita missiles, man, you have to be careful for them. Greninja actually having the, actually being lucky enough to have the mobility to dodge them by using his Hydro Pump. Okay, dash type not going to do it, but he has to watch out for up tilt, especially on Battlefield. If he lands on top of any platform, he can die. His dash attack going to do it. Yes, it's like, it, it seems like he used the momentum <laughs> from his, from when Venue was coming in. Just lock away all of those options. I mean, that's what Snake excels at when it comes to the, the quicker character matchups. Mm -hmm. Battlefield being super big. Snake not gonna die just yet. Oh, I like it, the weight, but unfortunately, great air dodge by Ram to actually just go inside. And he seems to be struggling to get this kill. Down tilt, and the Snake's, every, every hit that Snake does gives you a crap ton of damage. So this is a this is a something that Benya needs to, you know, kind of just make even immediately. Well, he's got to end this nonsense fast, otherwise we're seeing ourselves go into a game three real quick. We're, we're not gonna. Oh. Yeah. It, the, the I think he could have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he could have lived. The animation of pulling out the grenade extended him, I think, a little bit, or it helped him drift. Nonetheless, it was what led him to dying. But I'm not too happy about that because he didn't establish that hard of a lead. Like, yeah, 91% of Greninja is no joke, but... But it's also Greninja. <laughs> it is Greninja. As we see, Ram at 79%. The, the distance is almost closed. Now you, oh, if he would have read that. Well, Great the of shield. <laughs> oh, almost catching the landing at the C4 that he placed there. Four. And that's the scary part because a lot of the times you really don't know when he's going to do it. As down tilt of up smash takes it. Venya clutching both matches out. Super, super scary. I'm pretty sure he's sweating, man. <laughs> oh, man. You know how Venya is. Cool as a cu cucumber always. Although, Ram definitely put him on the ropes. <laughs> Venya is this type of player to go to game three. <laughs> 150 to 150%. It's okay. I wasn't sweating. <laughs> like, when you play with that kind of swagger, like it doesn't matter how good your opponent is. No, like, yeah. you're always in so long as you got those stocks. Yeah, no. Confidence is key, man. When you lose your confidence, you lose your sense of play. And that's... That's when things start getting crazy. I'm be real with you, Wolf. I think maybe in a best of five, I think Ram might have been able to take that because that those were kind of tense matches. Those are kind of close. Yeah, it's it's like 
I definitely agree because adaptation is a huge part of Smash. And in the best of five, you know, you have that last game, the last saving grace where it's just like, you know, if I, I have one more game to turn up right now or else I'm going to die. Because, you know, two out of three is pretty quick. And even in this game when you have three stocks, it, it, they don't go slow, man. People have been talking about that a lot because, as you know, CEO is yeah. best of three all the way to winners and losers grades. Mm -hmm. 